During the last week of 2004, one of Life Flight's longest and most involved rescues ever unfolded. A sailor named John Masters became ill aboard a racing yacht called Imagine It Done while in the middle of the Southern Ocean. The yacht, en route to Wellington, had a doctor on board who began treating John using his own expertise and medical advice obtained from the UK. On December 27th, as the yacht entered New Zealand waters about 3,000 kilometres from Wellington, Life Flight was contacted by the Rescue Coordination Centre to obtain further medical advice for John. The yacht was asked to divert to the Chatham Islands so that John could be transferred to the Life Flight New Zealand Air Ambulance and brought back to Wellington for urgent treatment. Over the next few days, the yacht made very slow progress as it battled high seas and strong winds, and John's condition continued to deteriorate. Other yachts in the race stopped racing and met up with Imagine It Done to transfer urgently needed medical supplies. On December 31st, the yacht was still at least two days from the Chatham Islands, and it was decided that an urgent helicopter evacuation was required. In order to perform a rescue from a vessel beyond the Chatham Islands, the Westpac rescue helicopter must be loaded with extra fuel, flow into the Chathams, be refueled, and then carry on to the vessel. Once the rescue is completed, the helicopter must be refueled again before returning to Wellington. Due to the great distance to be travelled, a spotter plane is also sent to the rescue to pinpoint the vessel, thereby saving valuable time and fuel for the helicopter. This plane must also be refueled fueled on the Chathams. On December 31st, as the team prepared for the next day's mission, it was discovered that there was not enough fuel on the Chatham Islands to undertake the mission. The Rescue Coordination Centre contacted Air Chathams, who agreed to send their large convoy plane to Wellington to shuttle fuel back to the island so the rescue could be undertaken. On New Year's Day, the Westpac Rescue Helicopter, a Vincent Aviation spotter plane and the Air Chatham Convair all made the 750-kilometre flight to the Chatham Island Airport. Imagine it done was still too far from land to attempt a rescue before dark. With the help of the local policemen, the crews from the helicopter and spotter plane refueled their aircraft, ready for takeoff at first light. Early on the morning of January 2nd, the rescue began.
Soon after getting John back to the Chatham Islands, the Life Flight New Zealand Air Ambulance arrived from Wellington. Unknown to John, his wife, who had just arrived from the UK, was aboard. After a tearful reunion and an assessment by the Wellington Hospital doctor and nurse, John was loaded onto the air ambulance for the trip back to Wellington. In Wellington Hospital, it was found that he was suffering from an internal injury, which was spreading a deadly infection through his body. Urgent surgery was performed to correct the problem. Doctors say the infection was so severe, it was unlikely John would have survived another 24 hours without the surgery. Like David Roche, the doctor on board Imagine It Done, Life Flight was an essential part of the team who rescued John Masters, including his own yacht crew. More than a hundred people, four aircraft and two other yachts were involved in John Masters' rescue. Life Flight is committed to continuing Peter Button's dream of providing a world-class air ambulance and air rescue service. Thanks to the support of our principal sponsors, the other members of our family of sponsors and people within our community, Life Flight continues to raise the money required to provide our services 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To everyone who chooses to support Life Flight, thank you.